Hey guys, it's Murph. Just want to do a quick video. I tried looking this up on YouTube to get an overview. I didn't see any videos on it. We're working on 07 Honda Ridgeline. We got a bad rear passenger wheel bearing. Now this is the all wheel drive model and I didn't see anything on there. So it's not a hub bearing assembly you can buy. It's just the bearing itself you put in the hub. I'm just going to do a quick overview. I can't remember everything that I did or used, but I'll try and give you a quick rundown. I think the main sockets I used were a 15 millimeter, a 17 millimeter, and I believe a 20 something. Obviously you got the big nut for the CV shaft, that's a 36 millimeter, um, and a 10 millimeter, I don't know if I mentioned that, just for some small stuff. So I'll just try and give you a quick rundown. So first you're gonna pull your brake caliper, you're gonna get that off, you're gonna wanna hang it up out of the way. Then you're gonna take off your caliper bracket, with your pads and stuff get that put to the side then you want to knock your rotor off get that off then you want to get your e-brake hardware all out of the way you're going to want to unhook your e-brake line that way you can take the hub out if there's a way doing this in i'm not sure if you have the equipment to do that but i, I take the hub out so you're going to want to unhook your brake hardware from where it's bolted in the back it's two 10 millimeter bolts you're gonna to wanna to get your speed sensor out. Mine wouldn't come out, so I had to cut it out, and then I popped it out later. Unhook your upper ball joint. You're gonna to wanna to unhook uh, this arm here, your cross arm or whatever you wanna call it. I think it's an adjustment arm for uh, toe, in and out, or whatever the hell it is. You're gonna to wanna to unhook this arm as well. You're gonna to wanna to unhook your trailing arm has the four bolts in it that bolt to the hub. You're going to want to unhook that. And then you're going to have to maneuver your brake line around. There's a clip on this right here. So as you can see now, I can move it more. You're going to want to take that clip out. Obviously, CV shaft, you're going to make sure you can pop that out. And then you can get your whole hub assembly out. And like any wheel bearing, it's pressed. I'll just give you a quick overview. As you can see, I already pressed the old bearing out. I'm gonna put the new one in. I couldn't get my dust shield off because the bolts on the backside go to these rivets and the rivets are spinning. So I'm just, I just left the dust shield on, put the new bearing in, and then the installation is reverse or removal. Like I said, guys, just a quick overview of what you had to do. I don't remember everything exactly thing for thing. So just a quick rundown. Mainly you got your trailing arm, upper ball joint, this arm here, and this arm right here. Unhook your brake stuff, your speed sensor, and your CV shaft. And that'll be it guys, just a quick one. Don't get mad at me, don't get me uh, get mad, say I didn't show every little thing. I'm just trying to do a quick overview, I just didn't set up a camera. I will see you guys in the next one.